Full beans. <laughs> when you think of banned weapons in the US, grenades and assault rifles probably come to mind. But not this. What's this? I'm glad you asked. This is a slapjack. A self-defense weapon made from sturdy leather with a lead weight for extra force. It's illegal to own and carry in many states, <coughs> including mine, but is this ban necessary? To answer that, I'll be hit with multiple slapjacks to assess the damage they can do and compare them to other self-defense items I've tested in the past. Always remember though, never attempt anything seen in this video. My fiance asked if we could borrow the slapjack when you're done with the video for scientific purposes. <sighs> Yeah, what are those scientific purposes, Jake? <laughs> <laughs> no, you may not borrow my slapjack. For this experiment, we'll be testing three different slapjacks. The first one is a coin pouch slapjack that I have filled with a bunch of quarters. Oh, a quarter. The next one is a tactical slapjack made out of some kind of rubber. And then the last one is a more traditional slapjack that has a heavy lead weight at the end. Now, before we hit me, we of course got to test something that isn't me, such as this watermelon and this coconut. I have some unfortunate news for you, Houston. What is that? Uh, according to Michigan law, it's illegal to own, possess, to sell a uh, slapjack. Section 750.422, a $2,500 fine, five years of prison, or both. So I'm gonna need you to turn around. Can and I, can I just, hands behind your back. Can I just pay the fine right now? Um, you can pay me or pay Michigan, whoever you like better. And yeah, you're gonna be guilty until- Proven innocent? Yes. That seems the opposite of how it should work. I should be innocent until proven guilty. I don't write the law. <laughs> The legality of me having this right now mm -hmm. is not what we're trying to answer. That's right. I feel as though the ban on these is unjustified. Unconstitutional even. I feel like half the stuff we do is illegal. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> and I haven't been arrested yet. Somehow. Honestly, you should be arrested. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think the traditional slapjack is the worst of the three. It's the heaviest, especially with that lead weight. So we're gonna test that on the watermelon first. Oh. <laughs> oh, that did something all right. That's pretty impressive. Split her open. I am thirsty and hungry. Thank you. Yep, that's why I get them, you know. Ah, feed in the crew. You ripped off the least amount of watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> Just get your hand in there. Thanks, that looks like a heart. <laughs> <laughs> you think it can crack the coconut? With the quarters, maybe. Why the quarters? It just fe feels like more weight. I think you're wrong. You need two, two coconuts then. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't do shit. Nothing. All right, quarters it is. Very flappy. It's like my penis when it's soft. I thought you're always hard. You're right, <laughs> that was a test. <laughs> Oh, not even the world's strongest man can <laughs> break open a coconut with a slapjack. Well, according to my limited research, it's not supposed to cause bone fractures. That's why I bought the coconut. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, we could see that it cracked the watermelon. Mm -hmm. Couldn't crack the coconut. So you're saying you're between a watermelon and coconut. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what I'm saying. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's what I was trying to prove with this whole test. Ah. Great test. Thank you for realizing my genius. Uh -huh. I, I catch up eventually. Well, I still think this will be the least of all the slapjacks I have. So we're gonna start with this one, moving to different areas of my body, and then we'll test the other two after. Sounds easy enough. Starting with the leather coin slapjack. Mark, I'm gonna have you start by hitting me in the forearm at 50% power. 50% power. In the meat of my forearm, please. The meat? Yeah, the meat. I can't see it. Can you point to it? Are you kidding me? I've been working on these puppies for a while now. Because <laughs> everyone says I have small forearms. Uh, that's because you have massively huge biceps. It's uh I know it's unproportional, okay? It's genetics. <laughs> 50. Ah! August 16th is coming up. Big 30th birthday for him. So when this video comes out, August 10th, 11th, wish him a big happy birthday. Spam his email, spam his messages. Where my email? Alright, just as in <laughs> <laughs> Ow, ow. I see why I get hit in the legs all the time. <laughs> I could feel it in both of my bones, in my forearm, mm -hmm. and there's this radiating pain. It's because you got no muscle. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> I'm over here doing the forearm curls all the time. <laughs> it's not that unproportional. Look at when you look at a flex. Yeah, great veins. Oh, Thank that's, you. That's hard. Yeah, that's firm. That's good. Thank you. That's good. It's my right. birthday coming up. That's right. <laughs> I was going to say hit me on this side, but I feel that you might rupture a vein. <laughs> 75. I don't think I can go any harder, and I'm going to regret that one. You will. Oh. Oh. It's a beautiful day out. It really is. Nice day to go on a little walk. Good thing I did more arms today, so I don't have to do it for another four days. Do it once a week every four days? Do it twice a week, thank you very much. Jeez, I'm really trying to compensate. Show us to work your weakest muscle more. I'm not working it more. I'm working the same as everything else, okay? Most people don't even work out their forearms. <laughs> What's don't. the last time you worked out your forearms? <laughs> Never. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to hear it from you. <laughs> you don't understand, it's my bicep insertions. That's what makes my forearms look smaller. Is that a genetic flaw? I wouldn't call it a flaw, Mark. <laughs> I would call it a difference, all right? A difference, all right. Look at Kai Green. He had really good peaks. Uh-huh. Forms kind of small in comparison. He's a great fighter. Bodybuilder. F <laughs> <laughs> That's nope. Funny. Mark said my calves look great in the last video. I did. I, I can't come back from that. Go ahead, ask me, Mark. How's your penis like? <laughs> <laughs> After some various hits, there's some breaks in the leather here. I don't know if it's the coins whipping, ripping through or not. I say we move to my shoulder and then we'll do a full power on my leg. 75. Stoic. I think that deserves a like. Look how that brave was, and strong I was. That was a solid 75. I, I, there's, there's at least three likes. I'll agree to that. I don't know why I'm shaking your hand. Cause I'm gonna like it. Three times? That's gonna be the first video I ever like. <laughs> full power on my leg. Full beans. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Came back at me. <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> you yelled louder than me. I didn't even yell. I wasn't ready <laughs> for that. So. That's, <laughs> that's a good mark. Oh, it's a scar. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's disappointing. Yeah, it hurt, but it's not like let's ban this and get this off the streets immediately kind of hurt. But I feel like that one's more of a novelty item, you know? Mm -hmm. So let's test a tactical slapjack next. The true self-defense. I say we try some other body parts with the slapjack. I'm right now feeling it's not too dangerous or lethal. Definitely hurts, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. But I'm not worried about like snapping bones, stuff like that currently. Okay. So what I want you to do is hit me in my my pec. 50% 50, 50 power. A little uppercut? As long as you don't... Okay, yeah, sure. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking... <laughs> <laughs> the nipple, you hit me in the nipple and that hurt worse. The first one hit me in like the shoulder. That wasn't too bad. You want me to come straight across? Straight across, full right. power. Deal. Good lord. <laughs> Oh, you broke a blood vessel or five. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's do another 100% power to my leg. Okay. Full beans. <laughs> <laughs> do one more 100%, same spot. The I think man. I want to prove a point at this point. See the double point there? That's how much I want to prove a point. The man likes pain. Number two, full beans. <laughs> think I hit the same spot? Oh, uh, yeah. Nice. Pretty close. Pretty damn close. Nice. That's probably going to bruise. Definitely. So what I'm gathering from these so far, a lot of stinging ping. I will say the coin sack one, since I put so many quarters in it, a little bit more blunt. A little bit. Right now, the worst thing that is hurting is my forearm. Mm. I'm feeling a lot of radiating pain from those hits. Would you say your forearm's similar to your shin? I think in the aspect that a bone can make contact with whatever's hitting it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Probably a little less though so than the shin though. Just because the shin is just like very apparent. The bone is like skin tight there. True. I almost think this is not as bad as the coin slapjack. Interesting. Still hurts. Wouldn't want to get hit with one in the face. But this is why we saved what I think is the best slapjack for last. A traditional one with a lead weight at the end. Effective. Hopefully. <laughs> traditional slapjack. 50% power please. Oh, you motherfucker! Oh, shit! <laughs> yeah, I think that's worse. Oh, that's like a bad calf cramp. Oh, oh! There it is, the deep th vein thrombosis. Yeah. I feel it coming. We've achieved on. it. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. We finally did it. Deep vein thrombosis. Ten years later. See that five times fast. Deep vein thrombosis.
50% power to my stomach. I'm scared on this one, so kind of hit me. Yeah. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> oh, that was a good sound. <clears throat> yeah, I don't like that. Oh. body's getting all the love. You gonna fart? I wish That's I a farting one. face. <laughs> Trust me. I would have pushed that shit out hours ago. <laughs> one last hit. We'll go with the full power on the leg. I have some distinct thoughts about these already, but I want to wait until a full power hit, and then I think I can conclusively say what I think. I thought this is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to already say that. That is the worst of the slapjacks I have. It's like a mixture of stinging and blunt pain. I think if any slapjack could break a bone, it's this one. That lead ball in there for some serious damage. So we're gonna hit me full power on the leg. I'll give you my final thoughts here. Full beans. Oh, that was a bad hit. I'm sorry. Glancing blow. My bad. It is still hurt like a mother <laughs> Oh. oh my bad it's okay it's okay it's prepped me mentally yeah kind of no no actually you know what that's worse because now i gotta do it again <laughs> you didn't i get that, thought huh? that was the... it's okay well we're not doing it again. we're not doing it again <laughs> everyone <laughs> shut the <laughs> <laughs> We'll do it I thought time. that was it's okay. So I've, I've collected myself. I've collected myself. Everyone, everyone, calm down. I need to calm down. <laughs> we thought... missed the slow mo shot, so we're gonna do it again. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, you know, I felt that shoot that that nerve pain right down to my knee. Oh, you got that one. Yep. Ooh. I think it's the location. Let's switch her up. <laughs> we don't have to. I'm going to. Okay. I need to see the slow-mo on this. Yes, sir. It's for my own personal think thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> I get to hit you now. That's right. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Good OG slapjack, I think is by far the most painful. Absolutely. And damaging. How much was that? 15 bucks, or something like that. Not bad. Except I did overnight shipping, so. Which I don't know why I did, because that was last week. <laughs> last minute. <laughs> it was either overnight or seven day. So you're like, I can't risk it. It wasn't even, it was yeah. overnight or three days. <laughs> and the difference was astronomical in shipping. <laughs> and you know, the worst thing is, uh, I bought one and then I looked for more. And then I just went back to the same website and bought two more and did overnight shipping again. And they shipped it all in one package. You need a manager. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me take out that anger on you, huh? <laughs> Can I handle no reaction? Yeah, Mark does a no reaction. You haven't already liked the video? You gotta like it now. I'm not even gonna smirk. Wow. <laughs> Unless you say something funny. That's fair. <laughs> Good job. I wasn't ready for you to hit that pass. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I'll count that. That was good. You're facing the change. How's it feel? We'll want to do 100, but 50, you know, it's a good, it's a good, good, good percent. It's, I would say, alarming. It would, uh, if someone was attacking you and you're using this as a self defense tool, especially if you hit in the head, our 50% power hits, mm -hmm. I think it'd be enough to disorient someone. Or discipline someone, 50%. I okay, think. all no, right. No? No. No. Oh. Jake already brought up that joke in the intro. Oh, um, it's a good thing he's not mic'd up. I'm gonna take my mic off and. If you want to discipline somebody. <laughs> Quick data review. My form, I don't think you can see much here, but I will say this entire video, I've been feeling a significant amount of pain radiating here. Form, not a good spot to get hit. I will say that much. Shoulder, light red lines, but not too bad. My chest, if you get, if you can see there, there's a couple broken blood vessels, it looks like. They're bruised up a little bit there. Stomach, for whatever reason, there's like a blank spot there. Don't know why that is. Ooh, let's look at my calf here. That one, very painful. We don't want to take a 100% power hit there. I think I broke a blood vessel or two there. This leg, which has a lot of hits on it from coin pouch and otherwise, that might've been the most painful one with uh, the final slapjack. And then the last but not least, that's bruised already. Yep. So pretty solid. Mark. Just a little. Wow, I hit you in the halo helmet, huh? That's all right. Yeah. Hey, you know, you're already oh, oh, broken oh, blood oh, vessels. Baby. Baby blood vessel broken. But I'll come back to you in a couple days, show you how the injuries are looking, and give you my final thoughts on slapjacks. Lost your teeth. That's all I got.
<laughs> it's time for the Slapjack Data Review. Two days after the experiment, I had little to no bruising on my forearm, shoulder, and stomach. There is, however, a decent amount of bruising on my chest, quads, and calf. Surprisingly though, the most significant pain I've had during recovery is on my forearm. This is probably due to me having less muscle on my forearms, which ended up causing more damage and swelling to my tendons. But what are my thoughts on slapjacks? Well, I think they can be very effective, non-lethal self-defense tools, especially if you strike someone in a more sensitive area, such as the face or head. However, I don't understand at all why these are banned in many states in the US, especially considering that a pen or pencil could be more lethal than a slapjack. Now I tried to research why they are banned, but I really couldn't find a clear answer. If I had to guess, it's because they're easy to conceal and were probably popular with certain criminal organizations a long, long time ago. But if you have more insight on this, I'd love to hear it down in the comments. Also, be sure to join my YouTube memberships or Patreon by clicking the link down in the description to help support the channel and and to get access to bonus content. And if you enjoyed the beating I took in this video, be sure to check out this one where I test a much more effective self-defense tool called a monkey fist. That one caused me a lot, and I mean a lot, more pain.